Welcome, everyone, to ITD Gaming Appetizers. Tonight, we're going to discuss an article that came out from an odd source. Top U.S. casinos did a video game study, and they basically listed out the most popular video games broken down by state for the last year and for the last 10 years. Their methods are a little unorthodox, but we'll talk about what they found. And then maybe we'll talk a little bit about how they found this information or how they gathered it, because it seems very suspect to me how they got this information. So they basically had four, uh, four popular games were spread amongst the whole U.S. this year. So over the last course, over the course of last year, which I think they listed a year was August to August. So uh, September 2020 to August 21, they came up with a list of top games by each state. The majority of the United States was dominated by one game, and I would say over 50% of the United States plays this game a lot. And any of us that has kids knows exactly what game this is. Somehow, Roblox was number one across the majority of the United States. Um, don't play it, have no desire to play it, seen my kid play it, wondered why they play that. <laughs> I have no clue. Any one of you guys play Roblox here? Have you played Roblox? Nope, yeah. but I can tell you why it's so popular with kids, because it has everything. But it, it literally, they have a, a game mod or a mode or whatever for every genre, for every popular game. They have a Fortnite game in there they have minecraft and they have call of duty in there they have tag they have everything because it's all community driven so I, I can understand why kids like it because it's it's a free game that you can just do almost anything in so it's it a, also it's a looks very concept. much like a free game <laughs> it it does. And that's one thing I think appeals to the kids. It's not overcomplicated either. You don't have to worry about, uh, you know, a bunch of craziness like Assassin's Creed and all that. It's just straight up games. That's all it is. It's straight up games. Nothing complicated. Uh, I mean, their um, uh, Squid Game game came out on it. And it's just it's destroying servers. It's so popular. Uh, so, you know, I don't think it's doing as great now because it, basically there was only like three games you really want to play in Squid Game. So, but, uh, I, I, I could see the, I'm surprised it's number one, but I can definitely see why. Yeah. I mean, my kid plays it. Nick, your kids love Roblox. They do. Yeah. You know, my, they don't play it as much anymore. And. I don't know. The, the The problem with Roblox is it is community driven, like Shane said, and and this kind of gets off and kind of off subject. But because of that community drivenness of it, I mean, they allow for just about anything. I mean, you know, music that has, you know, I mean, they could play whatever music they want on there and, and imagery and, and various things. And then you have some people because you can freely talk on there. You got to watch out to, you know, if you have kids playing Roblox, you got to watch who they're talking to because there's some people out there wanting to do bad things and they play Roblox just for that because they know kids play. Right. Um, so it's not a very Roblox has been trying to or saying they're trying to make it more, you know, kid friendly and more kind of cracking down on stuff like that. But they really haven't. <laughs> so that stuff is still rampant throughout it. But I do understand why it's number one. I mean, yeah, exactly what Shane said. There's so many. It's a game within the game. It's like a 501 cart. You know, they used to make it back in the day that 500 games on it. Right. The one um, you hated it, getting at least the one I hated when getting when I was a kid. I was like, all these games are garbage except for like one or two. There's 101 games on here and one's good. <laughs> right. Dario it, Brothers. <laughs> and Roblox the is the same way, right? I mean, there's like a handful, maybe, of games that, you know, my kids would play, and that's it. And there's like a ton on there. So, and most of it's crap. Um, but anybody can make anything in there. You know, some of it's stupid, and some of it's pretty creative. There are some things on there that you're like, wow, the person put a lot of effort into this. And some of it you're like, wow, this person put zero effort into it, <laughs> you know? So, but I can understand the appeal. Um, I just think Roblox, the, the developers need to kind of crack down on some of the, uh, you know, because it, it is marketed towards kids, right? And there's a lot of adult stuff in, in some of these games um, that kids shouldn't be uh, seeing. 
right? So that was the most popular one. It had the majority of the U.S. states, including the state we live in, Missouri. The most popular video game in the last year in Missouri was Roblox. The second game was Among Us. That's one that we've all talked about trying to play together a few times, but we've never gotten into it. I mean, my kids played that one. Everybody plays. Everybody knows Among Us. Among Us is like everywhere nowadays. We're probably the only three who haven't played it. <laughs> I think Nick has played it, haven't you? I have a little bit. We're the only you two that haven't played it. <laughs> <laughs> Just down to us. We got to pop our Among Us cherries. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, but. Uh, I that's another one that's that, geared though. a lot towards, I think a lot more younger kids play that one too than uh, older kids. I don't know. I'm a known graphic snob and that game just looks hokey to me. It looks bad. I mean, I understand the concept is kind of cool and, and interesting, but it's, it's one of those things where if you have a big group of friends, I can understand how it can be fun. Cause we all played back in the day. There used to be a very popular social based mobile game that you played on that very much reminds me of this where, Somebody would have to flip a switch and somebody had to rewire this and you all play on your mobile phones in a circle, you know, and you're all part of the group. And that's kind of what this reminds me of. Um, but I don't know. Some of these games, I'm like, really? They're the most popular game of last year. These are the most played games, which is insane to think about it, that it beats out these supposedly in the last year. These games beat out the big heavy hitters like Fortnite and Call of Duty and stuff like that. Yep. Um among Us is free. Is it a free game, Nick? Yep. No. No? Oh, okay. I thought it's it was a, cheap. It's oh, cheap. no, it came to Game Pass. It's coming uh, to Game Pass. Or it is on Game Pass Coming to Game Pass. What but, is yeah, so if you have Xbox Game Pass, I think it is on there. Or it's coming on there soon. I can't remember. But uh, otherwise, it's I think it's like 10 bucks or something like that. It's super cheap. Right. right. So Roblox had like 20 states. Among Us had like 14 states. Anybody want to guess what number 13 is? Fortnite. Barbie's horse breeding. Minecraft with 11 states. I it's thought Minecraft. <laughs> man, I thought that one was slowly dying off a lot more than it was, but I guess not. It's still pretty popular. No, Minecraft Mike- is still going strong. Yeah. But I can understand. Minecraft's a lot of fun. I like Minecraft. I, I don't play it as much as I used to, but it is fun to kind of hop on Minecraft. It's like Legos for adults or for anyone, really. You know, I mean, because you just got blocks and you're putting blocks together and building stuff. There's combat and, and they do updates regularly and they're coming out with some big ones, some big updates for Minecraft. So I can, I mean, that that train's still chugging. So, yeah, I I, I played it with uh, with my son and it's, it's interesting. I, I'm not a big fan of those. I'm more into just the building stuff. And not the whole creepers and all that. Um, I'm honestly, I would like to play it again when that. Uh, do you remember the Series X, uh, pre, the reveal where they were showing the Minecraft, what the system can do, and they turned on all the bells and whistles? When's that coming out? That's the, that's the update I'll wait for. And then we can all jump in there and play some cool stuff. But I, I don't get the appeal. Uh, overall, it, I can get in there and build. That's fine, but uh, it's really blocks, and I don't really want to play with blocks. I want some round shapes. So nobody wants to help Shane build his sex dungeon in Minecraft. So we won't be playing with Shane. Anymore. I already Thanks. got it built. That's where I keep to the lock you in it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, some people build some pretty cool stuff. I mean, I've seen. I'm sure you've seen pictures out there. People build the Death Star, and you know. Uh, Eiffel Tower and big castles, oh, Mordor and, stuff. and everything. Yeah, yeah there's all sorts of cool stuff. Yeah, the creativity of people in Minecraft is amazing, and that's I think that's one thing that people just love about it is you can truly just build what you want with squares. So, yep. So yeah. you know, and then the fourth one because there's only four games in this one. They only did the top video games. They did basically the top video game of every state. And these four got games dominated every state. So no other game popped up in the top list but these four. The fourth is an outlier, in my opinion. I don't know how it beat out any of the other ones, but Genshin Impact was the fourth. That seems like a very odd choice. Right. It beat out Tetris. It beat out I all know stuff. it was huge, but it was like, it felt like it was just a, a bubble and then it just disappeared. So yeah, yeah, that really bubble's still there. That. It basically beat, uh, it was a top played game in Hawaii, Oklahoma, Kansas, New York, and Vermont. 
of the last year. I played Genshin Impact on the because it is on the PlayStation, and I've played it on there, and, and it's a pretty, it's an okay game. The problem I have with it is it's basically a phone game, I mean, because it is on the phone as well. It's on everything. And, well, it's not on Xbox, but well, it's, it's on it's, console and and web, yeah, internet and phone. And, but it was originally, I believe, created as a phone mobile game, and then also brought out to the PlayStation at the same time. So when you're playing it for me. I feel I I still feel that I don't know for and, and some people may or may not feel this way, but when you play a game that's based off a mobile game or that's a port of a mobile game, you get that mobile feel to it, and that's just how it feels, right? It's like this is a cool concept, but I feel that mobile, you know, that that guy behind me going, "You gonna buy that? You should buy this. Look at this. You could get that if you if you if you buy it right now." You know, ad. here's an ad, ad, ad. Would you like an ad? Here's an ad. Throw me an ad. Here's an ad. Need more stamina? We got potions in the shop. It only is five ninety nine. <laughs> we have this yeah, two ninety nine special. Time only. We, we have this time only. Ten ninety nine. This nine ninety nine special marked down to a buck ninety nine today only. Yep. Then tomorrow you it shows have up for ninety nine cents. Three minutes twenty seconds left to purchase. All you right. get the little timer. So. Yeah. I was so, surprised by that one. Yeah, so that was basically the four games that dominated the U.S. last year, and which is kind of an interesting thing. I mean, I guess maybe more mobile games are popular in those five states than regular console or anything else. Um, you know, they did release numbers with that stuff, like I said. They, um, and they also put their statistics and everything else on there. So um, it's just a weird it's a weird thing for a what I found on a casinos website. The top casinos, the uh, top US casinos is the one that did the study appears looking at this article and they published the article. Um they also did a 10-year study, so basically a decade. And if anybody guesses what the most popular game in the United States was uh that dominated the most states in the last 10 years is I don't know, I'll give you a cookie. I don't know. Who wants to guess what the most popular game uh, what game showed up in the most in the top states the most in the last 10 years? Anybody want to take a stab? 10 years. What, what, what kind of cookie? You can have oatmeal raisin if you want. <gasps> oh, God. Um, Tetris. It's not one we've listed, I'll bet anything, just because it would be simple. Let's go with um, Let's go with FIFA. I want to say World of Warcraft. No sports games, no first person shooter. World dun, of dun, 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 dun. Well, Utah's most popular game is your is your sister single. So it's probably not that one. Was that Sonic that you did there? That was exactly it. <laughs> Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> really? It had which it one? was the most popular game in like uh, nine states over the last 10 years. And they were all almost all Southern states. Like it was a band of Texas, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, North Carolina, South Carolina, uh, DC, uh, and then Montana. <laughs> so, Damn. Concept. How did they get the results of these? I mean, so, like, do they do let's, polling let's, or something? Let's yeah. talk about how this is why I'm a little bit suspect of how they got their results. So the way that they got their results is um, their methodology was to discover each state's favorite game. They researched the average monthly Google searches for a selection of the best selling computer games or best selling games during this period. Each state was then individually analyzed and the top game for every region was recorded. If multiple games shared similar results in the state, we compared performance through Google Trends to definitively determine which piqued the greatest interest. So well, they, that they, doesn't mean shit. Well, that's why I said it's suspect because they use Google Analytics. Because just because you search for a game or type in a game doesn't mean you play the game. Because I search in tons of games and I'm like, nope, not my thing. You yeah, know, so, many of those you don't buy. So right. that's. That's odd. I mean, so they you'd basically think a poll had would be more accurate. Fourteen games that made it to the top, uh, that made it uh, a top listing of each state over ten years. Was so, Pac Man in there? Pac Man was not. Sonic did it, did it? Didn't say which Sonic though, does it? It just says Sonic the Hedgehog. So it's probably amalgamation yeah. of any of those games. Now, is it? Are you sure they didn't Google up hedgehogging? 
Well, also the movie came out. I mean, not within right. the 10 years, but within this time frame of 10 years. So that could also drive up the search results for Sonic the Hedgehog. Right, which I'm is why surprised. the article, in my opinion, was suspect. Because it said the most popular video games broken down by state. So they may not be talking about most popular played, most popular research. It's a very ambiguous title, right? It's so, like the most popular searched keyword right <laughs> for based on video games per state they basically porn hub the video game industry what are these keywords that these people are looking for big blue hedgehog <laughs> so, <laughs> now i understand why montana was googling it <laughs> right <laughs> uh, no offense montanians <laughs> so basically i'll just kind of run through it uh real quick here but basically they did sonic the hedgehog got nine states um and then followed closely behind eight states with uh, football simulator, Madden NFL. Uh, and then that was kind of followed third by uh, Mario, who picked up eight states. Um, there's just a whole bunch. And so they basically were saying that includes things like Mario Galaxy, Super Mario Brothers, Mario Kart. Uh, and then with another change of direction, they basically got uh, Call of Duty. And then actually skater series, Tony Hawk skater series was in there as well. They picked up like, uh, I think four States and then they kind of had Assassin's Creed battlefield, dragon ball, halo, Minecraft, NBA, 2k and Pokemon. And they each had each of those earned like the vote of at least one state. So, uh, Assassin's Creed battlefield, dragon ball, halo, Minecraft, NBA, 2k and Pokemon each had one state they dominated in. So like I said, Mm. yeah it's an interesting thing and, and like i said their their methodology was kind of suspect a little bit on how they came with it like because you didn't actually figure out what people were playing you just said what are people google searching i mean yeah you're right i mean that's the same thing as porn hubbing it's just <laughs> they, yeah. they they porned the crap out of this one they're like what are people looking for yeah hedgehogging <laughs> They meant to put in Call of Booty, but they put in Call of Duty, and so now they showed up on the search for Call of Duty. Or they <laughs> spelt duty with with the wrong like shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just, it was just an interesting read that I came across, and I'm like, I wonder how accurate this is. I mean, with Fortnite dominating most other charts, how did it not make the list of anything in here? Yeah. Yeah. Fortnite's been out for, what, five years probably now? I'm not uh, sure. Fortnite's been out longer than that. Fortnite Has came out in 2017. July 25th, 2017. Okay, so, yeah, yeah so, I mean, yeah, that, no, I cannot that fathom short? not being in the top right. 10. Or the, yeah, I mean, even, even for the top last year, most play, most popular game, how is it not, even when you think of Google searches, like how many people are probably Googling Fortnite? I mean, because there's one, yeah, know what the latest doesn't really are. know what Fortnite is? I mean, Grandmas and grandpas know what freaking Fortnite is. Everybody who doesn't even play the game knows what the dang game is. Yeah. Yeah. It's, Nick is so really tired of hearing about V Bucks, you know. He's <laughs> 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 on skins. Well, v Bucks for skins. V Bucks on skins. Why does that sound like a damn strip club? That's what you are. One. That's what it is. <laughs> you know, Epic is the stripper. You know, I guess no, Fortnite is the stripper. Epic is the pole, and everybody's just throwing money out there on the stage. They're trying to make it rain. Making it rain. V yeah. bucks. So I just thought the Ripping article was out. kind of interesting. I wanted to see what your guys' take on some of that stuff was because games that I figured would show up on the list weren't anywhere near the list. And it's kind of an interesting, weird article. So if anybody out there is interested, check it out. It's on topuscasinos.com. And it's just an article titled Most Popular Video Games Broken Down by State. When I saw that, yep. I'm like, I don't necessarily know if I believe Roblox is the most popular. But when I think about it, my kid plays an awful lot of Roblox and Minecraft. So just like most other people's kids, it's free. Right. Oh yeah. Yeah. And a uh, link for that will be in the description below. So you can check below this, the video and uh, a link to that site will be down there. Right. Yep. Like I said, Chains Halo made the list, but it only made the list because one state voted for it. And that was Utah. Utah. <laughs> you Utah that likes tall. to, Utah uh, likes uh, to ha Halo. But them southern states, man, they love them some Sonic the Hedgehog. I think that man, you don't go hedgehog until you go in south. <laughs> Maybe uh, they're looking up rings, <laughs> <laughs> or or felching, or who knows what they were looking up to get yeah. on that hedgehog thing. I don't know. 
those southern states are kind of sometimes they could be a little out there, you know. <laughs> Who knows? It's a it seems like a very odd way to conduct a study. Rather than actually contacting people from the states or running a poll through those states for a while, they decided we're just gonna look at everybody's Google searches. Yeah, you think they would do like a poll or something or a survey or something like that. Like what game have you played the most this year? What was your favorite game this year? What was your favorite game over the last 10 years or something dumb like that? No, we're going to analyze your Google searches. (laughs) Yeah, that just doesn't make sense. I mean, they might as well say what the most popular game is, did this actor ever do nudes? I mean, it's just ridiculous. (laughs) What I want to know too is, is that all Google searches? And what about Bing? <laughs> well, right. I'm just saying. No, like, there was no Bing in on this one. It was all Google. Uh, I'm just saying they don't. Everyone doesn't just look up games, so they're analyzing everyone in every state. They're what they're searching for. That seems like a. I mean, I don't know the laws on that type of thing, but like invasion of privacy. There, what, don't you think? I mean, as long as you have your cookies and as long as you have your stuff turned, uh, all the Google searches are public knowledge. You can go out there and find out. <laughs> Most popular search by state, most popular search by this. It's all part of the analytics. Yeah, right. I guess it's all just by state. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but, they don't list yeah. out individual people so they could say, hey, right, what's the most right. popular video game search by this state or whatever? Yeah, that's just. Yeah, it's not like they know Nick's Google searches. I mean, Oof. we know. <laughs> but, <laughs> he's got the, he's got the fail really safe. Ugly. He's got the fail safe button built into that pacemaker on his hard drive. Just put it in like the, incognito. Blows up the hard drive. The hard drive. <laughs> I just throw it in incognito. You yeah. know? So it he's got the uh, <laughs> what was the kill switch in the Spawn movie called, where the one guy had the bomb implant, the bomb switch implanted in his heart. When his heart stopped, the bomb goes off. Nick's got that implanted in his uh, in his chest. <laughs> so, like I said, it was a really odd. I don't agree with a lot of the games that are on here for the last ten years, but. You know, because I would imagine if they're just going by Google searches, they could miss a lot of stuff, right? I mean, people are out searching the Google store for stuff, or they're out maybe searching Bing in it, like Shane said. They're going to Bing it. <laughs> Netscape's been dead for too long for that, but, you know. I use Alta Vista, so. Yeah, or Dogpile, you know, any of those guys, you know. <laughs> ask Jeeves, you know, what what what, what everybody asks yeah. Jeeves. What does Jeeves got to say? Right. You know, hey, Dog Puddle, Hedgehog. What, what game does Jeeves <laughs> like the most? No one asked him. Right? He's got a list of them. So, yeah, it's a, it's a, I, like I said, it was an interesting article and take it for what you will. Their methodology, in my opinion, is very flawed. Somebody was just having fun, in my opinion. They're like, these people love all Sonic the Hedgehog and these people love Minecraft. These people love Roblox because they're all, 14 and under. <laughs> no. That, there's a reason why. I, They're I all just, 14 and under. I, were they pro priests? I, I just figured it out. This is why the article is skewed the way. Once you become a certain age, you learn how to use incognito mode. Those kids have not learned to use incognito mode, so that's why their searches are out there. there there's some 10-year-old going, who is Sonic the Hedgehog? You know? Yeah, and then there's a 20-year-old. Sex scenes of God of War. Right. But they're in incognito mode, so they don't get recorded. That's why. That's what's happening. This is skewed by all the kids who don't yet know how to use incognito mode. Yep. Get to using it, kids. (laughs) Right. You're skewing the the test results there, kiddos. (laughs) All right. Sonic (laughs) 1. I mean, come on. on, Come on, yeah. I mean, I love Sonic, but I wouldn't think it'd dominate. Right. How many many kids are typing in the last 10 years? How many times is somebody typing in Roblox that's an adult in the night? I guess some parents that are concerned might be typing in, what is Roblox? But I guarantee mm-hmm. you, most kids are like, most popular Roblox rooms, or most popular Roblox this or that. Or how do I get money in Roblox? What's a V-Buck? Yep. So yep. you're skewing the results, kiddos. Pop up that incognito <laughs> mode. <laughs> All right. Anybody bing else? It. Yeah, bing it. If you don't want to show up on Google, you got to bing it. You yeah. can't ask Jeeves anymore because he went the way of Dogpile. So, all right. Anybody else got anything they want to bring up on this suspected weird article before we wrap it up? Just tell me what you think. I really want to know what your favorite, what what you think would be the best in the last 10 years. I know right. what I think, but nobody will listen to me. Yeah, Shane Tetris. played way too much Doki Doki. Love Doki Doki. <laughs> All right. 
All right. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed this episode and go check out the article and let us know what you think. How how much do you believe this article? Because I think we're all a little uh, not thinking it smells quite right. So let us know what you guys think. And uh, as always, make sure you like and subscribe so we can keep doing what we're doing. We hope you enjoyed this episode. We hope to catch you in the next one. See you.